Hey guys, we're sitting out here and gonna do a quick little video over strategy early season hunting. Um, I typically start hunting September 15th, but I've got a big mature deer um, after. Um, I'll hunt primarily in the evening and I'll be either hunting a water source, uh, either a pond, uh, a water tank, or a staging plot. And typically, um, you know, those staging plots, they're, they're found between a bedding and the food source, uh, same as what your water holes if you guys can identify that or create your food plots out there you know between where you feel like that buck is bedded and um, the, you know the food and establish your tree stand or your ground blind or your you know redneck blind um, right there in the middle on that main uh, travel corridor that typically works out pretty good I'll give you guys one example um, this was about five six years ago I ended up having 155 inch 12 that I harvested um, the deer he was throughout the, the entire summer. He was a core buck. I believe he was uh, either four and a half, five and a half years old. He ended up um, ended up skirting my camera several times, but I went in there open in morning or sorry, open in evening, and about 7:15, 7:20 that evening, he actually made his way out into the food plot or towards the food plot, and I was harvesting there about 17, 20 yards, and he expired within 80 yards. So uh, that was my evening example. Um, several years later, uh, it was I think believe, believe it was seven, uh, September 29th, um, and I ended up going into the morning. So those first couple weeks in September, I'll only isolate evenings until we start getting those nice cold fronts moving through there, where you've got a 15, 20 degree drop in temperature, and that's typically when I'll start hunting in the mornings. Um, this example was uh, a bachelor bachelor group I actually had on camera the prior week um, in there I knew there was one mature buck in there I ended up going in there establishing a climber um, I climbed up there um, that morning um, and based off the trail camera footage from the last week uh, we had a real nice front wasn't able to hunt that morning but I knew that that deer was probably gonna be up and moving coming back from beans late into their uh, to their bedding area and it worked out just like that um, I ended up having that buck uh, with another the same four other deer come into a, um, a pond just like this on their way back I knew that there was a pinch between that pond and the tree lot that's where I had my tree, uh, my uh, climber stand and that deer provided a nice uh, 15 yard shot for me um, he actually ran 15 yards south 15 yards back to the uh, east and he laid dead I'm um, less than 10 yards from my tree so again you know in the even times uh, early season you know September 15th all the way into you know the October definitely try to isolate your water and your food sources and then once you start getting those cold fronts start um, coming up with a game plan if you got a big mature deer on camera for coming back between that bed and, or that food source to that bedding area and you should have some pretty good luck there so appreciate everybody uh, following me um, like always, hopefully you guys are getting out there in nature. Best of luck on, on your upcoming hunt.